Peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, to answer or to respond to Abdul, uh, he posts in my page on uh, YouTube. His name is Sayyid C. Uh, first, how are you doing, Abdul? I hope everything is doing good, and I hope you are getting so hot and horny for the coming versions when you go to heaven. And the reason I'm talking about versions, uh, let us read the comments about this Abdul, he said, Islam is growing in the West. Uh, you know, Islam is growing in the West. I don't know about that, but I know that Islam is dying everywhere. Uh, you see, there's many reports. They come to you and say is Islam is as a religion is growing by number. This is true, but this is, uh, uh, you know, mostly in Islamic countries because they are, uh, you know, they have a lack of education and uh, you know those poor people they have nothing to do except having sex and having babies uh, they cannot organize their life and you will see uh, someone he work uh, uh, you know he clean cars in the street but yet he have 17 kids but the numbers of muslims growing in islamic countries is a risk for muslims not for us you know when you are when 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 a number of population increase uh, so fast and you don't have jobs you don't have education crimes and disasters happen and this is exactly what we see all over the middle east and any islamic country without without any exception like unless you are lucky you get uh, uh, some some lucky countries uh, which uh, they have good majority of muslims uh, because of the oil and the wealth those countries has but the the major and then those uh, those countries do not even present maybe three percent of the total population of muslims which means more than 97 percent of muslims they are living under poverty and their life is really miserable this is why they are crossing the sea from everywhere going to europe because they are so desperate and their population <clears throat> became uh, uh, you know like a, 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 a problem not a solution however muslims as always because they are ignorant people they think numbers is what will make them victorious uh, equality <coughs> is always the case of winning anything in this life numbers will make no difference you know as an example uh, Israel is 6 million uh, population or maybe 7 million now so I'm not sure but yet you know 1 billion Muslims cannot even cast them out and they cannot do anything about it uh, so your numbers mean nothing really you know that's really very funny argument however let us see what he is saying about that. Let me tell you what is the real reason so many white Western Christians convert into Islam. Uh, I like it when you say white Western. The fact, uh, like if you say some black people convert into Islam, I would understand because, you know, uh, Muslim, they use racism in order to deceive <coughs> uh, American in order to join Islam. But this is not Islam. Really. They convert to the nation of Islam which is not even Islam. Um, the nation of Islam believe in racism and they believe Muhammad was a black man, Jesus was a black man, and they believe the white man is a devil. It's a racism, racist moving, movement. However, uh, according to studies, according to, to what I know, and uh, you know, I have a long experience working with Muslims, that the majority of Muslims who come to the West, they leave Islam and they convert either to Christianity or they become atheists. And we have big example. Even the Muslim, they say, like Muslim, they say Obama was a Muslim, but he is very famous ex-Muslim. Uh, the son of the founder of Hamas. Imagine the son of Hamas founder. He is an ex-Muslim, and now he's a Christian. Uh, I can count a lot of uh, names. Uh, the the issue is when somebody leaves Islam, he don't go in TV or in radio or YouTube to announce that because there's a fear uh, due to the Islamic uh, cult violence. However, when somebody converts to Islam, Muslims, they make tons of videos of him because nobody will kill him anyway. So actually the opposite happening, like the biggest converting church in USA is Iranian church, in case people do not know. However, let us see what is the reason he says that there is people convert to Islam. The Trinity makes no sense. You know, <clears throat> when a Muslim speak about Trinity, that means he have an opposite belief but I don't really see it. 
Seriously, I don't, I don't really see it. You know, when, when the Christian say the Trinity, like as an example, who is Jesus? The Bible says that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. So, but it is the same God. So he is the visible image of the invisible God. Now, do the Muslim teachers say? You believe it or not, those Abdul, they think they have no trinity, but they have a trinity in the Quran. And they have a trinity in the Hadith, and they have a trinity in Islam. And let us show it to them. If you go, and I'm not going to ask a, a scholar to explain, I'm going to ask Muhammad to explain to us what's happening. Let us read some of Muhammad's words. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is the Hadith number, in case you want to take reference. All right. I hope it's showing in the screen. Let us do this. All right. This is the the this is the translation. All right. Uh, the Arabic always have different numbers. Uh, however, I don't accept any Islamic translation, as you know. But I will go with it for now, just to serve. You know the purpose. So Muslim will not say I'm making my own translation. Now remember the Muslim they say to us as we see that they don't uh, Trinity does not make sense. Then how do you explain to me what we are going to read here? They ask Muhammad, are we going to read uh, our are, are we going to see our God in the judgment day? Are we going to see? You know, they ask Muhammad, shall we see our Lord? Shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? The Prophet said yes. So take a note, in the day of resurrection, you will see Allah. Now, in order to see Allah, you know, even Muslims agree that their God is so glorious to the point you can't see Him. And this is why when Moses spoke to Him, he was not able really to see Him. You know, he saw a fire. And even the Quran described that if a mountain saw Allah, the mountain would will, uh, would, be, would be destroyed. So the second you see Allah, you will be destroyed. So how Allah is going to be able, or you, how you are going to be able to see Allah? Let us see how Muhammad described this. If we go down in the same story in the hadith here, we will find Muhammad saying the following. Now remember, Abdul, I'm not the one who's saying that. It's your prophet saying that. All right? If you read with me here, it says, Then Allah, the Lord of the world, all right, will come to them, to who? To the Muslims. In a shape. In what? In a shape. That's weird. So now we have Allah and we have a shape. So we have number one, Allah, and we have number two, Allah, which is a shape. Because Allah here, He is changing or He is presenting Himself in a shape. So let us ask the question here, is this is the same Allah or this is a shape have nothing to do with Allah? If the Muslim want to say to me that the shape is the same as Allah, that means Allah is a shape anyway, and He is a physical being, and He is a shape, and He is a visible image, He is a person, and He is changeable. So He can present Himself in any shape He wants. So how come you reject Jesus to be in the shape of a man or God to be in the shape of a man? Or in the person of a man but you accept your God to come to you in a shape which is nearest to the picture they have in their mind actually this is a very false translation in Arabic it says that he is going to come to them in the lowest or let us say the closest image which they saw first time or this they, they saw it it has nothing to do with the, the translation. The translation is absolutely false. 
ra'uhu in the past, which means they saw before. And actually, I can show you the hadith, the same hadith in different translation. It says it clearly that they saw before. Actually, you know what? Let me show it to you. So a Muslim will not say, oh, you are making things up. Here we go. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, different hadith, different translation. However, both hadith is saying exactly the same, but the Muslims in this time, they forgot to fabricate. So they are in trouble. That's why I say to you, don't ever, ever, ever trust a Muslim translation. They are professional and professional liars. Which means it's their profession to lie, but they do not know how to do it. Uh, now, look what it says. That Allah and and when our Lord will come to us, uh, actually let's go back a little bit, so we can see from the beginning a little bit. Same again, same question. They asked Muhammad, "Are we going to see our Lord in the day of resurrection?" As you see here, Muhammad he said yes. So you will see him, all right. Now, how you will see him? Let us see. Uh, Allah will come to them. in a shape other than the one they know. Question, Abdul, the one you are talking about, the Trinity, doesn't make sense. What is the shape of Allah which you know? Any Abdul have an answer? What is the shape of Allah which you know? Secondly, when you say now we have Allah, and now we have a shape, <clears throat> so now we have Allah and a shape, are they one or they are two different individuals? If Allah became a shape, that's mean Allah uh, is the original and shape is the unoriginal. Because remember, this is not the image of this one. This is just a, this is just a shape. So let us say this is like uh, the counterfeit. Uh, the aftermarket product who is going to be the shape of Allah but the fact it is not Allah because he will come to them in a shape a shape you see it this is not his shape and look what he was what, what will happen to prove my point when when he come to them in that shape uh, he will say to the Muslims I am your Lord they will say we seek refuge with Allah from you Which means the Muslims will consider this shape Mr. Shaitan. This is why they are saying we seek refuge from Allah or uh, from Allah uh, uh, against you. You see it? Let us do it again. So, this is Allah coming in a shape. We have Allah, we have a shape. The shape is not Allah, and Allah is not a shape. But the shape is the visible image of Allah. In the best scenario, Allah changed in his shape and became a different shape. And that will be the visible image which they will see. So now we have Allah number one here. Uh, this is Allah number one this is Allah number two and now we will see Allah number three when Allah he came to them in the shape the Muslims they will not like his shape he will come to them and he will say to them I am your Lord the Muslims will not like it at all so they will say they will reject it totally they will say we seek refuge with Allah from you. Which means the shape was really horrible. The Muslim rejected. It's not good. Maybe there is a leak. There is a gas leak. Uh, maybe the shape, he had a tail. Uh, maybe something missing. Uh, something wrong. To the point, the Muslims, they will not like it. And look Allah what he will do. After they seek <coughs> refuge from uh, Allah against him, which means they kick him out. 
Allah will come to them again, but this time we will come to them in other shape. We will not follow you, you see, he says. We seek refuge from Allah, in our, in, in, uh, this is our place. We will not follow you till our Lord come to us. So obviously this shape is totally rejected. So now we have Allah, we have the, the, the shape number two, and now we have shape number three. Then Allah will come to them in the shape, or in a shape, they know. Which is that? And they will say, he will say, I am your Lord, and they will say, no, doubt you are our Lord. But hold on. So now, this is an accepted shape of Allah. This is a rejected shape of Allah. And this is Allah. So how many Allah now we have? This is number three. Allah, the first shape, was rejected, and they throw him in the junk. Allah come back in different shape which they like, they accepted him and they worship him. What do you think, Abdul? So when a Muslim he speak about the Trinity, obviously he don't understand what Trinity is. Christians don't believe in three gods, we have one God. We believe that God he presents himself in three ways. But we go and we study a little bit in their, in, their, in their books, we will find that Allah, He presents Himself in three ways. And look at this uh, hide-and-seek game, this is a stupid game. Like, you know, when I say that God, He came to me in a, in a person of Jesus as a man, I understand why, because simply He want to be with us, He want to speak to us, He want to teach us, He want to educate us, and He want to show us how much He loves us. And there is a reason, but here I don't see a reason. Look. Allah will come to them in a shape, the Muslims will kick him out. What the point? What what for? What happened? Like what, what Allah accomplished from this? Is that a Halloween party? Then Allah will come to them in a shape which they like. Like is it up to me to like the shape or not? Like Allah, you know, why Allah come to me first time with a shape I don't like anyway? Don't he know that he would they will like isn't it isn't it uh, really astonishing to hear that Muslims they will kick the, the ass of their God and they will reject him and will, 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 will bring shame to him do you know how insulting it is to say to your God oh you are not our Lord and we seek refuge from you which means you are shaitan is it a shame that to, 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 to call your God such a name why Allah is causing this such a humiliation for himself? The Muslim, they say to us, if Jesus is God, there's, uh, the, the Son of God, there's no way that the Father will cause him to be humiliated. Look, who your Father, is, your, your, your God is humiliated here. Your God coming to you, you kick his ass, you say to him, get lost, you are not our God, you are Satan, and we seek refuge from the true God from you. What more humiliation you will do to your God more than this? And then your funny God, he go to the store, he buy a new mask, and he changed his Halloween custom, and he come back to you, and then you say, oh, I like this custom, so you must be our God. And then you say to me, the Trinity does not make sense. I'm not going to mention, like I made a video just two days ago, I believe, uh, about Allah have a foot, Allah have a hand, Allah have eyes. He is a, he's a man, and even he's fat, according to the description of Muhammad. So you say to us, you do not, that the Trinity doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? Or what about, let us talk about more sense. What about your God will insert in your anus a chain, a chain, which is the length of 70 cubits, and according to the ex ex interpretation of Ibn Kathir, this chain is really so big to the point can go around the earth many times, and even each ring of this chain is have more iron than all exists in the world. All of this will go in your anus. All of this will go in your anus. And you are telling me about uh, Islam makes sense? Read it. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. It's in the front of you. If a drop of lead like this and uh, pointed to the circle bone were sent from heaven to, to the earth. And it is the distance of 500 years of trouble. 
that's a lot farther than the earth or all of it you know can go from here to get to the second galaxy it would reach the earth before night wow that's really something and if the sun drop of lead were uh, uh, sent from the head of the chain of hell it would trouble 40 full, se full season night and day before it would reach its hell like come on Are you, are you talking to me about things make sense in Islam? What kind of Allah he want to put fast in him and will be enter his buttocks? You will put, you will, Allah will put a chain in your buttocks? That, that's very convincing. Seriously. So Allah have a chain and now he's making chains for those who he didn't like. He will insert in their buttocks. I think your God is watching, your, your prophet is watching too much terror movies. How big is your anus? And then he inserted from your anus and then he extracted it from your mouth. What? Do you see it? You guys, are you reading with me? So when Abdul, he speak about make sense, well, you know what? This is make a lot of sense. This is a hell of a sense. Or, you know, maybe enough here. Let us go to something else. Let us talk about the science. I'm not going to talk about the science of the Quran. You can go and read my book, Quran and Science and Death. All right? I have tons of approves and reference. You will really love it. You can get it from Amazon. Now look at the, at, at the prophet of science, Muhammad, the, the prophet of the Abdul. His talk makes sense. No question. Look at this. The Jews, they came to him. The Jews, they come always to Muhammad and make fun of him. That's why he hated them. All right, but they don't make fun of him in a like let us say a loud way. They ask him questions, they, he answer them, and then when they go home, they laugh. All right, so the Jews they came to the prophet. The Jews they came to the prophet and they ask him questions. Uh, they gave him three questions, and and you know you you can tell how silly those questions is just to make fun of him. If this, this story is correct, so they ask him like, "What is, uh, uh, you know, like, what is the first food um, uh, meal of food uh, people who enter heaven they will they will eat?" Muhammad he said, "Oh, this is the whale liver. What? Whale liver? Whale liver? Really? Why? Why the first? You see the questions here." This is the questions. They came to the Prophet said to him, firstly, what is the first uh, uh, portent of, uh, uh, of, the hour, uh, of the hour? What is the first meal of the uh, people of paradise? And what make baby look like it's his father or his mother? Look at this. And I want to focus on the last question, actually. Forget about the meal and the, the stupid things. Okay, so what make, what make, what make the father the baby resemble his father or his mother, which means the baby will be a girl or the baby will be a boy. What make the baby go and be a girl or be a boy? Muhammad now, the scientist, is going to tell us what make the baby a boy and what make the baby a girl. And that will make sense for sure because this is the prophet and the prophet, he don't speak from his own. That's what the Quran says. Everything is an inspiration given to the prophet. Everything is an inspiration. Especially when it's come to teaching. So let us see what is the answer of the Prophet of the Abdul. Look what he said. <clears throat> now the Prophet of the Abdul, he decided to give the answer for the question. And look how serious the answer is, which is make a lot of sense, especially for those who love science. Please listen carefully and learn science from the Prophet of Islam, the Prophet of the best, the, the best Prophet ever, you know. Uh, ever exist in history they ask him you know, as we know as we read that why the baby resemble his father why the baby resemble his mother he said if a man's discharge let me let me highlight it all right and if man a man's discharge proceed that of the women which mean before the women 
Then the child resembled his father. Wow. Man, that's really deep. Ooh. Allahu Akbar. How the Prophet know this? Now I know what happened in the bedroom of my father. Now all of you, you know what happened exactly. Who is the one have it first? If you look like your father, obviously your father is the one who have orgasm first. Actually, just me, let me correct this. No, no, no. If you are a boy, that's mean your father is the one who have orgasm first. Because this is about you look as a boy, not only you resemble the father. Resembling the father here, which means you became a man, you became a male. And if the women discharge, proceed first, then the baby before the man, then the, the child will resemble the woman, which means will be a woman, will be a female. And then when the Jews, they, say, they hear the prophet saying that, he said, wow, prophet, I testify that you are, must be the prophet. <laughs> I, I come on. <laughs> now just to show you the Muslim deception the, to try to cover the shame of their prophet this is the same story in different hadith this is Sahih Muslim and this is the hadith number take, take your reference please but look how the Muslim try to make it look like if it's about science look what they add chromosomes what, what, what a chromosome what, and genes what, where do you get this from chromosomes the prophet he knew the chromosomes <laughs> in Arabic it says it clearly look what he's saying guys read with me those who speak Arabic they can read in Arabic and those who do not let us read that the Muslim false translation which is trying to make Muhammad look look better look what it says um, the reproduction substance of the man is white and that of a woman, I ovum control portion. What is that? Where do you get this from? This is why it's between two brackets. Just to make, you see, you see how much desperate they are to defend their prophet? This is all is not exist. The man, he said, the, 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 the sperm of the man is white and thick. And the sperm of the woman is yellow and thin. That's all. There is no, this does not exist, but just to make it like, to make it accepted, how you can accept this? They have to make it accepted, that's why they put it between two brackets, it's not there, it's their own fabrication. And when they have, let us highlight this, because this is really getting interesting. And when they high have sexual intercourse, and the male of substance, this does not exist, chromosome, take it off, okay? Reveal upon the female, all right, uh, substance, then the child will be a male, will be a boy. This is here is not exist in the hadith. This is the fabrication of the Muslims to cover the shame and the stupidity of their prophet. So this is what Muslims say is when they speak about it makes, it makes sense. You see how much sense it makes? This is a lot of sense, Abdul. So if the women came first, the baby will be a girl, will be a female, as we see here, all right? Will be a female, you see it? But if the, if the man he came first, the baby will be a male child. That is really science. Now, I don't really have more time. Sadly, I have to open my chat room soon. Uh, and this is how I spend my day actually to answer people, answer email, helping everybody to understand how filthy, stupid this religion is. However, if there is any Muslim there to debate me, please be sure to visit us in our chat room in Palto. And it's very easy to find me. You go to the social issue, I will be the top room in Palto when I am open. And always I announce our Facebook page. You can go to investigateislam.com and you can subscribe to our Facebook page and you will be able from there to find out how to go to our chat room in Palto. See you soon. I will open my room in less than maybe 10 minutes from now. Thank you. God bless you. And Abdul, don't tell me ever your religion makes sense.
your religion is the most stupid ever religion exists in the top of this universe. And only idiot, madman, madwoman, stupid, foolish, crazy, they have mental issue, they will convert to such a stupid religion. With this I leave you with peace, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, I mean to that.